In this video, you will learn how to insert and delete keyframes in Blender. Blender version 2.78c is being used while creating this video. So let's start adding some keyframes first. Select this cube right clicking on it. You can see that current frame number is set to 1. To fix this cube position and rotation in frame number 1, press I key on keyboard and select LOC rod. Now in the timeline, you can see a yellow mark in frame number 1. It means whenever you go to frame number 1, the cube will be in the same position and rotation as it was while adding keyframe. Now come down to the current frame section and set the frame number to 40. Now move this cube to the right pulling this green arrow about there. And again press I key on the keyboard and select LOC rod. And so on, increase or decrease the current frame value in the timeline, move and rotate your object to certain place in angle, and press I key on the keyboard and select LOC rod to add the keyframes. Now we have added total 5 keyframes in frame number 1, 40, 80, 120, and 140. Now go to the frame number 1, as you can see this cube has moved to the initial position, because we had set the first keyframe on that state of cube in frame number 1. Now when you come here and click the play button, the cube will move to the same location and rotation where keyframe was set. When it arrives 140 frames, it stops moving, because, 140 was the last keyframe we added. Now pause this animation clicking this pause button. Now we are going to delete the keyframe. To delete the keyframe, go and click this current editor type button, and select, dope sheet, from the list. Now these are the 5 keyframes that we created earlier. We can see them in their respective frame numbers. Now we are going to delete this last keyframe. Now find out the object name which is cube in this case, follow the row, and go to the keyframe that you want to delete, right click on the node to select that particular keyframe, press, X, key on the keyboard, and click on delete keyframes. Now we have deleted the last keyframe. Now go back and click this current editor type button, and select, 3D view, from the list. Now we can see in the timeline, the fifth keyframe is gone. Now come here to the current frame section and set the frame number to 1. And click this play button. Now you can see, the cube will stop in frame number 120, because the keyframe in frame 140 is deleted. And this takes us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and leave a comment.